Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 19, verses 1 to 10 today, and let's hear it. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, Make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. So look at the crowd. They're following along with Jesus. Hey, Jesus is our guy. It's great stuff. They're listening in. and uh, But then there's the tax collector. They hated the tax collector. And the tax collector uh, goes out of his way to see Jesus. Jesus uh, says positive things, bring, brings him along. He gives him positive regard. And Zacchaeus turns. He repents. And now suddenly the crowd that's with Jesus, many of them are very angry. They're very angry. He's gone to be a guest with a tax collector. And so this big love, uh, love fest uh, sort of turned out not to be quite that thing, was it? Because they hated the tax collector. Jesus re received his repentance. The rest of them didn't receive his repentance. Many of them didn't anyway. And so, but look at, he said, salvation has come to his house. Now, by the way, Zacchaeus was really going over and above uh, the, he's not required to give back fourfold, but that's what he does. And so, yes, he's, he's really, Zacchaeus goes all into the kingdom, but the people around Jesus are not at all happy. A lot of times, you know, our spirituality is kind of superficial. We, we present ourselves as, as spiritual people, but when it gets down to the brass tacks, when it gets down to truly forgiving, when it gets down to truly uh, giving recompense, when it gets down to reconstituting, you know, paying back, uh, suddenly uh, suddenly we're 20 bucks short, you know, suddenly we're not interested, suddenly we don't really care. When there's a, a issue in a church, a lot of times there's a, there's a great anger in the midst, and instead of being repentant, there's a group of people there who are absolutely determined not to, not to receive their brethren or sisters back. There's some of that that happens sometimes in churches. Jesus is showing us a better way. And we better be ready to accept the Zacchaeuses of our time because we need to live with them in the kingdom. Now's the time. When else will be the time? Well, friends, we need to follow and pattern after Jesus, no matter how evil or bad somebody we think they were. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus and his great mercies. Yes, this man collaborated with the Romans. Yes, he was obviously a fraud and a, uh, a bad guy, but he repented. He changed. Jesus changed his heart, and he received that. Lord, but the people weren't quite as forgiving. Help us to be just as forgiving as Jesus. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So there it is, just as forgiving as Jesus. Is that what you want to be? That's what I want to be. Let's let him do it. God's blessings be upon you today.